Hello, fellow AP Physics 1 students. It is Mr. Gustin. I am here at school and I wanted to show you something amazing. I was here at Stevenson and I picked up my AP Physics 1 supply bag today. I want to do an unboxing for you and show you the haul that I have gotten for AP Physics 1. I am so excited to open this. I'm loving AP Physics. Let's find out what's in here. Here we go. All right. In this plastic bag, I'm going to pop it right open. What's the first thing I find? Oh, wow. It is a white paper plate. I'm not sure what it's used for, but it seems it's Dixie Ultra brand, so you know it's the good stuff. Uh, I'm excited to use this. I'm not sure what it's for, but I want to make sure I hang on to that, the paper plate. What's next? Oh, another disposable utensil. I have two plastic spoons. It kind of matches the theme with the paper plate. Uh, again, not sure what they're for, but I'm going to keep them real close to the paper plate as well. I also have in here a, oh wow, a Charles Leonard Incorporated ruler. It has 12 inches on one side. We're not going to use inches. It has 30 centimeters on the other side. Mine is a see-through yellow color. Wow. Thank you so much, AP Physics 1 teachers from Stevenson. This is awesome. All right, the next thing in my bag is, oh, I have got two different sized marbles. One is a glass marble. It's kind of greenish, clearish. I'm sure we all have different colored marbles, but if I know Stevenson, all the marbles are spectacular. And this one is a steel ball bearing. They feel a little different in mass, so I'm gonna make sure I record the mass uh, and take the mass for all of you. So let's get out something to write down with. Let's check this out. I have the steel ball bearing. Its mass is eight point, ooh, it's moving on me, 8.4 grams for the steel ball bearing. I would have a little piece of paper out, write down 8.4 grams for the steel ball bearing and toss that in the bag as well. The glass marble is 6.0 grams. So again, little piece of paper, 6.0 grams for your glass marble. Toss that in your bag so that we can keep that for our records. We've got a few more things left in this bag. I'm so excited. What's next? We have got, oh, if I can get it out, two, count it, two rubber bands. They're not very big, but they, they're kind of stretchy. I would probably keep these off of the floor away from my dog or my cat, and I wouldn't stretch them too far because they're, they're, they're not very big. But uh, what I am going to do with this is I am going to give you some measurements so that you can figure out exactly how stretchy this is. We call it the spring constant of these rubber bands. So I'm going to go ahead and attach a spring scale that I have here at school to my rubber band, and I am going to read off some measurements for you. So have a piece of paper out so we can take these measurements together. All right, um, let's do this. All right, it's going to take, let's see, I'm going to hold this down. I stretch it two centimeters. At two centimeters, it requires 1.6 newtons of force. Two centimeters, 1.6 newtons of force. At four centimeters, it requires 2.2 newtons of force. At six centimeters, it requires 2.8 newtons of force. At eight centimeters, it requires three point three newtons of force at 10 centimeters it requires 3.75 newtons of force and i'm going to go ahead and stretch this thing all the way to 20 centimeters just because at 20 centimeters it requires 6.2 newtons of force ask your teacher what to do with those values to figure out exactly how stretchy this rubber band is well, students, that's it. That's all I have. That's quite a bit. I'm excited to, uh, to do some semester one physics with those materials. Uh, I hope you are too. 